Good evening. Thanks very much for joining us on India Business Hour. I'm Shireen Bhan. Highlights from the last street where Indian equities ended the day off highs but still clocking very strong gains. The Sensex added about 600 points, ending at a one-month high, and the Nifty reclaimed 10,500. The rally has been helped by the benchmark indices, which have posted their biggest weekly gain since May of 2016. The Sensex and the Nifty surging 5% each for the week, which means that the Sensex has added over 1,600 points and the Nifty has gained over 500 points. It's been a good week for the rupee as well. The Indian currency closing at 72.43 to the dollar versus last Friday's close of 73.46. So good news for equities, good news for the rupee as well. Dollar weakness, of course, aiding that move. So where are Indian equities headed from here? We asked that question to market masters Rhythm Desai of Morgan Stanley, Ram Diagarwal of Motilal Oswal and Akash Prakash of Amanza Capital. The consensus is that despite the recent decline, Indian equities are still not cheap. If you look out uh, three years, uh, profit share in GDP is at all-time lows. Uh, a mean reversion is due any time. It hasn't come thus far. I don't think I want to give up on that call. I think it will come. And when it comes, I think, you know, when we look back, the you know, stock markets may not have been that expensive. Uh, while they do look uh, rich on a, say, P multiple, the fact is earnings are very depressed. So I tend to look at price to book on the index level. I think that's a better guide to time the market. After 15, 1700 points correction, a lot of this froth which was there, more in mid cap and small cap and even in larger caps, 20, 25%, 30% in diesel stocks have been, you know, chopped off from their all-time high positions. So clearly that, uh, to that extent, uh, some amount of correction has definitely happened. So my sense is that it can be repaired only with the money. Either foreigners come in or domestics come in again. Mm. So domestics are not gone out. They don't have any exit to any, any other place. So uh, the we hope that flows will again build up. Mm. So a lot is dependent on how the inflow into mm. domestics happen. There has been some uh, significant damage in the mid cap and small cap space specifically. Stocks are down 30, 40 percent. So there are the uh, the, the uh, specific ones which look interesting. Uh, broad market as a whole, I don't think the broad market is cheap in, in that sense. Uh, I think it's a very stock specific market. This is not 2013 where the broad market was cheap and you could have bought pretty much anything. I don't think this is uh, anywhere near that level of cheap, being cheap.